All right, traders, what is up? Here we are, six months into the year, right? Six months has gone by. If you blinked, you basically missed six months of the most incredible bull run in what I think is recent history, right? And at the halfway point of the year, guys, you always should try to take stock of where you're at, okay? What strategies have you been using? And I'm curious. I really do want to know from you guys, all right? So post your comments in the chat below. Uh, send an email with what you guys are doing. I'd love to know what strategies have been working out for you, what strategies have been not working out for you. Basically, halfway through the year, right, you got to ask yourself a simple question, guys. Are you making money trading? Are, are you profitable through today, the halfway point? Or have you been losing money, right? Are you a losing trader through today, right? It's a simple question. Be honest with yourself because if you're not honest with yourself, you're only cheating yourself, not me, okay? Um, and, and guys, by the way, what you're looking at here is a daily chart of the S&P 500. I've almost never shown a daily chart. If you guys have seen my, you know, videos and whatnot, or you've talked to me on the phone and stuff, um, you know, most of my charts that you've seen are focused on intraday charts, meaning day trading type of charts, but you've never really seen a weekly chart or a monthly chart. Okay. And, and, and just to prove that to you, look at the X axis here. You see this, this goes all the way back to early March, right? So this is definitely a daily slash weekly chart. And why is this important? Okay. Well, the S&P 500 is very popular. In fact, I know a lot of you guys are actively trading this, right? This market has been absolutely on fire this year. And the reason that I'm showing this chart to you guys, all right? And the reason that I am asking you to take stock of where you're at today, all right? Is because the last six months have been one of the greatest bull runs, the greatest bull markets in history. Okay, just flat out. There's no dispute on that. That's not open to subjectivity. That's the truth. This market has been on fire this year. And if you were just following the trend, you killed it. You absolutely killed it. Now, if you didn't make money, right? If you employed a counter trend trading strategy, meaning that you were always trying to catch bottoms and trying to catch tops and following your nonsense Bollinger Bands and your stochastics, right? Then here's my message to you, okay? Do something different for the second half of the year, right? And listen, don't be embarrassed or beat yourself over the head uh, that you didn't make money so far uh, year to date this year in one of the biggest bull markets in history. All right, this is the truth. If you didn't make money so far, then you were probably counter trend trading. What does that mean? Well, if I show you this chart here, okay, this is the S&P 500, I'm not cherry picking, all right? You can see here that the volume band shifted green in the early part of March. That's why I wrote this text down here that says long signal in March, all right? Now, if you tried to short this market anywhere, anytime, right? Meaning if you tried to counter trend trade, all right? If you tried to go short when it so clearly and obviously is painted green, then shame on you, right? And, and I mean no disrespect. Please don't take offense to this, guys. Please don't. Send me a bunch of nasty emails, all you haters out there. Um, this is the truth, okay? The truth is that trend trading is the only proven, in my opinion, uh, method of success in the market, okay? You can debate me all you want, all you scalpers and stuff out there, all you options traders who are looking to put on these weird call spreads. I mean, whatever strange, unusual strategy that you have employed that has resulted in you losing money in the market, again, year to date, right? We're at the halfway point. If you haven't made money, then the smart thing to do would be to try something different, 
right? Try a different strategy. Try a new approach. Get some fresh eyes onto the market. Join the ranks of what professional traders do, which is follow the trend. Make sense? Now, listen, I feel bad for anybody who tried to short the market at any point in time here when it was green. I mean, th this happens to be a daily chart, but I mean, I could show you thousands of uh, intraday charts. In fact, here's Apple right here's another chart on Apple again all those people that have been trying to short Apple I mean just look at this look at the simple colors on Apple right it's just green when it's time to buy and it's red when it's time to sell and it's green again when it's time to buy make sense so folks as you take stock of where you are in your trading journey this year OK, no matter what kind of size you've been trading, whether you've been trading, you know, a one lot, one share, uh, 500 lots, 500 shares, whatever, whatever the case is, whatever size that you trade doesn't matter. Right. What's more important, what's more valuable is following a mechanical rule based system that identifies and tells you the potential starting point of a trend as we got right here in early March and never looked back right so listen guys if you made money this year then congratulations you most likely followed the trend right you piggybacked on these incredible awesome powerful trends that we had this year uh, I mean it felt to me like almost every single day was a trend day uh, it was huge um, in both directions market certainly gave us some fireworks this year and I'm strongly convinced that we are going to have a huge move in the second half of the year right now if you didn't make money this year okay if you spent all of your time trying to counter trend the market or you were watching CNBC or you're watching Jim Cramer tell you to uh, short the market or bet against the market right basically if you're doing anything and everything except looking at the chart and respecting the chart then all I can tell you right so this this message is for people that have not made money this year specifically people that have lost money trading this year all right try something different <laughs> what I mean what else can I tell you right I try to give it to people straight here you may not like what I have to say I mean nobody likes to hear this message right nobody likes to be called out okay but the truth is you need to be called out you need to know what you're doing wrong and how to fix what you're doing wrong so that you can make it right okay now listen I mean this chart here on the S&P uh, this thing could keep going could keep going I mean eventually you know and I know that the volume band is going to shift red at some point could that be next month? Could it be next quarter? Could it be next year? Nobody knows. But at the end of the day, following the trend, just simply following the trend, trading the trend, the trend is your friend. If that's the only change you made in the second half of the year, okay, regardless of what market you trade, whether you trade futures, whether you trade stocks like Apple, whether you trade Forex, doesn't matter, right? If you change your mindset and you change your approach to how you navigate the market, right, how you put risk on and how you collect reward, okay, if you integrate all of those things and you learn a rule based mechanical system right this is not open to subjectivity guys when it turns green you better get on that train before the train leaves the station and shame on you if you tried to short this market when it's green right when the volume band is green okay so that's my only real suggestion to you guys as you take stock of where you're at and prepare to hit it hard for the second half of the year there are going to be some fireworks guys just trust me there's going to be some fireworks in the market second half of the year the moves are going to be astronomical and you're going to be kicking yourself if you're either sitting on the sidelines or you once again decide to employ a 
counter trend trading style the way that you did previously. It's volume that's responsible for these significant moves, right? This, this, this type of move here where the S&P went from 3,800 to 4,200, all right? That's a significant 400 point move. That's 10% in an index. Think about that, all right? What is responsible for this type of move? Guys, it's volume right? It's the trend. It's the smart money. It's the institutional players. It's not people like me and you, right? People like me and you follow the smart money, right? We want to trade with the smart money, not against them. Makes sense? And certainly not with your garbage Bollinger Band or your stochastics or, or whatever whatever Japanese candlesticks that you've been using your whole life to make these buying and selling decisions, right? They just, they haven't worked, but you people still try to keep trading with it. You understand what I'm saying? Guys, there's a famous uh, quote from Einstein. I know you've heard this before. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing every day, but expecting different results. That's the definition of insanity. How can you expect different results if you keep doing the same thing every day, right? And one last thing I'm going to say here, guys, in this video to you, all right, as you embark on the second half of the year, and I wish everybody prosperity. Uh, it's going to be great. Like I said, I think the second half of the year is going to be huge. The potential for the second half of this year, and, and probably even year, the, the, the year after this, all right, next year, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be legendary in my opinion, okay? And so the last thing I'm going to say about this is, guys, there are two types of traders in this world, okay? And those two types of traders can be broken up into two groups as follows. Those traders who get what they want, and everybody else. Make sense? So guys, you decide which group you want to belong to in the second half of the year and, and more importantly going forward in your trading career. All right? You make that decision. You employ whatever strategies you think make sense to you. And like I said, if all you did was just simply follow the colors, then you'd literally transform your trading on day one. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope this provided a source of motivation and inspiration for you. Stay strong, stay disciplined, and let's get at it second half of the year. <laughs>